Have you ever been pickpocketing ham guys and thought to yourself, hey, the oh, wait, damn it. Okay, have you ever been pickpocketing ham guys and thought to yourself, damn, you could do a lot of stuff down here. You could level tons of skills. Fletching, cooking, herb lore. You could even level crafting. Hmm, just check out that XP. No, no, of course you haven't. That's an awful idea. No one would ever try to do something stupid like that. Huh, hey, what's this? Looks kind of interesting. Anyway, that's where the idea of this account was born. And no, it's not a hamlocked Iron Man. Sorry if that's what you were hoping for. Instead, meet Sir Lumbington. Wait, that's... I, I thought I checked... Wait, I, okay, meet Sir Lumbington with two Bs. More fancy. This is Sir Lumbington, my region-locked Ultimate Iron Man. Here's a map of the region I've locked him to. Lumbridge to Remington. Lumbington, get it? Lumbridge, Remington, okay. Sir Lumbington is a man of comfort. He enjoys the peaceful farms of Lumbridge, the open fields south of Valador, and the quaint coastline of Remington. But most of all, he enjoys his home. He loves being home, sitting in his chair. He's a lot like you and I. But his story is just now unfolding. I'm super excited about this account, which, as the intro explained, was inspired by my love for ham guys and their ridiculous pickpocket drop table. I began looking at what was possible just within Lumbridge, and then within Lumbridge and Draenor, which was also pretty interesting. I was excited by the idea of all the locations available just within Lumbridge. The underground Goblin City, the ham hideout in Zanaris. Well, that was until I realized that part of Lost City needs to go to Entrana. Now, sure, I could make a one-time exception for this, but I began considering what it would be like to open up Entrana as another option for the account. That's when I realized that I could just extend the region to include everything west of Lumbridge all the way to Remington. This felt like a unique enough area of the game to create a real area-restricted account experience. Speaking of that, as a wise man once said, an area-restricted account needs three things. Clear guidelines, limited exceptions, and excruciating grinds. I mean, interesting gameplay. He's wise, so I'm ripping off his intro. Sir Lumington is restricted to this area. I'll show this off more later, but it's pretty straightforward. There are some questionable areas, but that's a discussion for another time. There's also a secondary area restriction that we'll get into in a sec. Based on my estimations, this account will need to take at least three trips for exceptions. These are mostly just to unlock the basic things, like all the skills, locations, and content in the area. What you're seeing on screen right now is what I'm hoping these exceptions will look like. Lastly, the excruciating gameplay section. This is the part I'm sure I'll have no problem with. Almost every skill is trainable within the area. Or kind of. That means I can always find another ridiculous, inefficient grind that no one has thought about since 2005. Which makes me feel very special. It's also drenched in nostalgia for me. Plus, it's fun to push the limits of an account locked mainly to the starting area of the game. And by fun, I mean probably just becoming a Piro Piro Simulator 2023. In all seriousness though, there are a few endgame goals for this account, the biggest being killing the Calphite Queen. Once I discovered that KQ was accessible from within this area, I knew I had to make this account and take her on. Since KQ is becoming a somewhat overdone goal in the region-locked UIM community, I'm still looking for ways to spice it up and for other endgame goals available to me. I'm also considering going after all doable achievement diary tasks in the area. Uh, maybe. Okay, let's talk about that other area restriction I mentioned. Sir Lumbington went to bed one night in his home in Remington, and woke up the next morning, here in Lumbridge, ripped through a hole in the time-space continuum. Now, he has found that he can't cross the Draenor Wall until he has proven himself a true adventurer. To do that... Well... To make things a bit more interesting for the early days of this account, I'm going to access content in phases. These phases will be locked behind quests. Currently, we're in phase 0, which is the exception phase. Here we'll be getting a few things together before completing my first round of exceptions. Those will be Druidic Ritual, Rune Mysteries, and Goblin Diplomacy. Once we complete phase 0, we'll move on to phase 1. In this phase, we're locked behind the Draenor Wall. 
to proceed, we'll need to complete all quests that are fully completable within Lumbridge and Draenor. I'll put a list of those on the screen. This will be our checklist for Phase 1, including a few skill requirements and one more brief exception. Phase 2 will unlock everything but Entrana and Xenaris for the account, which will be locked behind a few more requirements. Phase 3 is everything after that, but who knows if more phases will exist. The main purpose of these phases is to pace content for myself, and to maximize that excruciating gameplay we all want. To me, unlocking Remington and Entrana right off the bat would undermine some of the fun of finding unusual training methods in the early stages of this account, since the idea started off as a Lumbridge Draenor account. I was also inspired in part by the one chunk gameplay style, where unlocking content based on location is a driving force of the account. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this new take. Now, if for some reason you actually made it through this TED Talk length intro, please enjoy the video. So, unlike a lot of other region locked accounts who drop all their stuff as soon as they spawn in, uh, all of this stuff can be obtained here in Lumbridge, mostly from the tutors, so I'm just going to hang on to it. I want to get started working on my exception quests for phase 0, but since I'm already in my area, I can do a few things to make my first exception trip a little easier. The biggest thing I want to avoid is flinching the bear that I need to kill for druidic ritual. I don't want to spend like 25 minutes flinching, mostly just because I hate flinching and I want to avoid it on this account as much as possible. So with that in mind, my first goal is to speed level my thieving. Thieving I think is going to be one of my top skills on this account. Uh, so I can get into one of my favorite areas. So let's just get that started right here. First successful pickpocket. Very nice. Look at this XP just flying. Hey, first level on the account. What the hell? Considering just dying to this guy, I think it might be the fastest way to just keep this going. All right. So the goal with all this thieving is to get into the ham hideout and pickpocket those dudes there for a steel weapon, um, which I'll use to kill the bear. Hey, how's it going? I've been pickpocketing you for the last five minutes. Let's go, five thieving. Ooh, is that an imp? Ooh, all right, we gotta get started on the imp grind early on. Oh, this imp is about to kill me. All right, here's the plan. We're just gonna die over here and it's just not gonna matter because we respawn right here. Get all my stuff and restore all my health. Cool, and my own bones, I'll bury them. First bones buried on the account are my own. Level six thieving coming in. Seem to have cornered this man by the stairs. Gonna ask him some questions. Seven thieving, and there's something I realized that I want to do. This right here, this raking. We're gonna go over here and get to doing some raking right away. This is eventually gonna help me meet a skill requirement that I'll need to unlock some content. More about that later on though. I want a rake. Let's go ahead and get to raking. Very nice, very nice. Get that huge farming XP to come in. And I see my Imp buddy right here. Let's see if we can get some. Mm. Apparently imps have horrible range defense. Let's go. And we got, wow, we got an ensouled head on the first kill. That's a pretty nice cash stack, I gotta say. I could actually just buy a steel axe, couldn't I? Maybe that's better. How much is a steel axe from Bob? 200? Oh, okay. How much is a steel battle axe? I kind of feel like I'd probably just do okay with the steel axe. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now maybe is a good time to show off my area. Obviously, I can be here in Lumbridge. The Alcarid Gate is my eastern boundary. We're passing by the cow pen. We'll be back here. This fence up here is my northern boundary. This hops patch will actually be super relevant to the account. There's not a ton of uses for hops, but I have one in mind that'll be quite useful to me. I just need to get level 3 farming so I can plant barley, and then we can actually start training farming for real instead of just raking all the time. I'm going to need some combat levels for this bear fight, so let's just take a sec and train some attack on these chickens. And my first random event is the Drunken Dwarf. Hey, two prayer. I think I can cook these chickens here? Yeah, I can. How do you burn a chicken in a pot of water? Quick rake and break. There we go, five attack. All right, we're leaving the chickens with five attack and five cooking. Just wanna take a quick pause here to uh, just acknowledge these friendly fellows. Hello, Archer. So why are you guys all standing around here? 
So the archer is super rude. Uh, and that's pretty important for us to know about the archer. So yeah, I thought I'd just bring that up. Here's the wizard's tower. I'm sure I'll be visiting here a lot. There's even a stash on the bridge. I'm sure that'll be useful to hold some bis items. Ooh, leather boots. But yeah, what wonders could the wizard's tower hold for me? I know this will be my main source of runecrafting should I choose to indulge my deepest fantasies of atrocious grinds. Next up in the Lumbington region, everyone's favorite bustling metropolis marketplace, Draenor Village. Actually though, this place will be my best food source with the jugs of wine. Which may actually be a problem for the bear since they lower attack. I'll also be able to buy hop seeds here to plant in that patch. I'm looking at you, Jutes. This guy... Well, let's ignore this guy for now. Since we're completing Goblin Diplomacy, we'll need to visit Aggie here for some dyes. Over here is the holy grail of the early days of this account, the Draenor Rooftop Course. Someday. One thing I wanted to do here was talk to Spria, um, who apparently won't give me a Slayer task right now, which is unfortunate. I think I need to do her quest to unlock that. Which is too bad because I really wanted to get a super low level Slayer task and maybe I could get like goblins or something and get some real early um, Slayer XP. Because I do kind of want to do some Slayer on this account, I'm not totally sure how feasible it is. The thing is, the lower my combat level, the more likely it is I can do her assignment. So the sooner the better for her quest. Let's check out the sewer, the location of my best anvil in the area for anything other than bronze. Ow. And here it is. The wall separating me from my home. I can't cross this until I'm done with phase one of the account, meaning I need to complete all quests doable in their entirety on the lumbered side of the wall. Until then, this is part of my boundary. I won't be crossing it even to do my exceptions. So obviously Draenor Manor is definitely going to be one of the places that I have access to and I'll be going here for some quests. There's not a ton of... Ooh, more raking. I'm raking the mushrooms it seems. That's a new one. This is part of my area as well, with the notable thing here being the Sour Hog Cave. You also may have noticed that I included the Champions Guild as part of my area. Sort of. I'm not sure how I want to handle that yet, but for now, I just won't be going there. So, my understanding is that if I drop these and then I talk to the Magic Combat, she'll give me more. Perfect. Sweet. Well, we can build that stack up over time. Here we go. And this last raking should get me to level two farming. So any day now. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure the combat stats I want for fighting this bear. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Honestly, this axe has not been impressing me as much as I thought it would be. Uh, it's kind of trash. I also remembered that I uh, actually can get a full set of Iron Man armor that I might end up using on my bear fight. I think we'll just try for five in the combats. Oh shit. Almost just died. And we've reached a total level of 50 with that strength level. Pretty exciting stuff. Do you ever think about the fact that the goblins just punch you? <laughs> level four strength. Very nice. Level three prayer. Back to back. Bada bing. And uh... As I say, bada boom. I just realized there's actually no good reason to be fighting these uh, goblins while I'm doing this. They really should be attacking men, if anything. And I should be raking. I'm doing all kinds of stuff wrong. Alright, we got our five combats. I guess it's time to go fight this bear. Give me the armor. Beautiful. So this is like... Uh, basically iron armor, I guess? If the amount that I'm preparing for this bear fight tells you anything about me as a RuneScape player... Uh, <laughs> you'd be right. Alright, let's try to get everything for these exception quests. So I need the four meats for Druidic Ritual, and I'll be collecting the materials for the dyes for Goblin Diplomacy. We need rat meat, which I can get over here, I'm pretty sure. You got this, come on, Lumbington. The mugger's over there just watching me. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the first beginner clue, that's super awesome. Okay, so let's check out this beginner clue, let's see what we got. That's out of my um, region, so we're just going to drop that. Uh, not a huge deal at all, because it's really, really easy to get clues in this area, which is one of the super fun things about it. So we'll just drop that. 
All right, this cow fight is going to be excellent. Let's do this. Um, we're definitely going to take on a real cow because we're pretty uh, pretty tough. All right, beef and chicken acquired. Do some quick raking. You know what? I'm standing here right now uh, about to cross the line. Um, and I just realized that what I should really be doing is rune mysteries as I go here so I can make this a singular Varrock trip. So we're actually going to go walk back. All right, here's rune mysteries. Um, take it over the head, wizard's tower wizard. Yeah, sure. Let's let's do it. Hmm. He says we will take that into Varrock as we go by there to kill the bear. Finally. All right, we're back. We are ready to go and defeat a level 19 bear at combat level six, almost seven. Let's see if this works out. I mean, just look at this pro inventory. What could go wrong? Ready? Go. All right. Bear fight begin. Can I, can I get some damage? Can I get some damage? Okay, we're risking it for the... Okay, that's a big hit. Okay. God, he's brutal. Oh my god. Let's get the kebab. Ooh, oh my god. Well, my attack is one right now, which really sucks. So, I guess I'm going to be ranging him for a while. That kebab really fucked me over. Right, we are almost there on the bear kill. Might end up tribriding this guy, we'll see. I think I'm just gonna go back in on the melee strat. Oh my god, two threes. Oh my god, what the hell? Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, okay. God, this is brutal. The bear fight did not go as I wanted it to. And I guess it's mage time. Let's just go, let's go with the tribrid. Ooh. Oh, is that a two? Okay, this is the real strat. And it looks like two magic coming in off. Ooh, two on a two. I love that. I should have known. I should have known that the magic strat was the strat. Wow. That was crazy. I just annihilated that guy. All right, we are going to quickly grab a couple of red berries for goblin diplomacy. We've got all four meats for druidic ritual, and we're going to go pay Aubrey a quick visit. This is incredible. All right, let's finish up Druidic Ritual, and then we'll make a quick stop back in Falador, and then we'll finish up Rune Mysteries. Say hello to... Kak... Give... What? Kakwimix? Kakwimix? Oh, his name is pronounced Cake Mix. Ha. Uh, let's dip all these bad boys in here. We got the blue meat number one. We got the blue meat number two. We got the blue chicken. Blue chicken group. I like that that quest doesn't say literally anything about herb lore. You'll have to grind. Oh, I know. I'm playing RuneScape, bro. There we go. Okay. Quest complete. Perfect. We can now do herb lore. Encourage my friend here. All right. Got to check in with Weissen here. You know, he's my woad dealer. Perfect. We need just a couple onions. The pillory guard. Oh, he just gave me the money I was going to get. Perfect. That speeds things up a little bit. Two woad, two onions, three red berries. That is what we're going to need to do goblin diplomacy. Finish up rune mysteries. Serador appreciates our truthfulness, and so he's going to tell us what the hell's going on. Basically, <laughs> It's pretty awesome. So, quest complete, rune mysteries done. That's two out of our three phase zero quests done. Let's finish the last one up, and then we can move on to phase one. Alrighty, Aggie, what's up? I need you to make some dye for me. Dye. Heck yeah. Alright, let's pick up a chronicle and uh, a teleport card. Wait, I have 45 coins. 10 thieving, a level I totally meant to get. Okay, teleport card. Tellying slightly closer to goblin diplomacy to tastefully not cross the Draenor Wall. All right, here we go. We're entering Goblin Village for our very final exception of this round. I love goblin diplomacy. This is the story of two fashionistas battling for the spotlight on the runway. It's got drama. Fights. And most of all, fashion. The judges can't stand this first look. 
thankfully for you, I'm a blue armor aficionado. Still unimpressed, huh? Let your whole body talk. So, we've impressed the designer goblins. This means we've completed all the quests of Phase 0, including an important prerequisite of the Lost Tribe. Phase 1 can now begin, and with it we get 3 crafting, this gold bar, we can polish buttons, which weirdly we'll actually definitely be doing. So, awesome. If you made it this far into the video, seriously, thank you so much for watching. Making this video definitely stretched my editing abilities, but I put a lot of love into it, including some original music heard throughout. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button and join me on this journey. Next episode, we'll be taking on some of the toughest content available in the area. What?